Welcome back to Life in the Wind. This episode, we are going to be installing intercom speakers. Yay! So what we're doing is we are um, going to install these lovely things that aren't upside down into the wall. So that way, if we're on a passage and someone's either down in the aft cabin or the V-berth, uh, they will be able to speak with anybody who is up steering the boat like if the captain were having an issue and somebody were sleeping he could buzz down and get a hold of whoever he needs to without waking the rest of the crew so we are going to do that run some speaker cables some coax cables some other cable lots of cables so yeah it's gonna be fun we are going to be installing in the aft cabin the intercom system right about here we feel like this is the best spot back here. It's out of the way, but still accessible uh, to whoever is sleeping back here. Problem is, is when we cut through, there is an AC vent here that is not currently being used. We do plan on using this in the future uh, for possible heat. That's still to be discussed, but uh, we'll show you what we mean why it's gonna cause a problem when we cut through. Let's go into the head. So this is the back of the AC vent. So this is where the hole is gonna be coming through. But um, when you puncture it through, it's gonna be here. So getting to the back of everything's gonna be a little difficult. So we're gonna try to take this thing out and then go from there. This is the back side now without the vent in there. Hi, Vicki. Hi, honey. So, now we can start drilling holes again. More holes, yay! So we were given a template with the intercom system. So we have put it where we feel like we want to mount the intercom. So this template shows us where we need to drill some holes for the bolts that attach the system to the wall and also where to drill the hole that the intercom system will go through. So we have mapped it out roughly where we want it. So we're going to drill some holes, drill a bigger hole, and then see what we get. Just like that, she's installed. We could technically uh, put the vent box back in, but we'd have to take this back out and we like how she's sitting right now. So we are going to redesign the box that was in there, maybe make it a little bit more narrow because um, what we're planning on putting in there isn't going to need such a big hose. So that'll be further down the line, but one in, one to go, then a bunch of lines to run. Today I am going to install the loud hailer finally. So we spent the last couple of days installing wire, running more wire. Uh, I didn't really show you any of that because it's really boring and you've seen it a million times. What I'm doing right now is I'm actually soldering the ends of the wires because I won't be able to put crimp connections on it and you don't want the wires to splay out when you wrap them around. Uh, so I'm going to show you that. Right here you can see I soldered the ends of these so now they won't splay out when I wrap them around the terminals, which are these teeny tiny screws. Uh, so it's too small to fit any of the crimp connections that I have. So this is how I'm doing it. There it is, finished. I still need to connect the power down below, but uh, finish installing it. So with this, 
uh, we could put this up a, up above here. If we want to keep it up, you know, out of the way, out of the view here. Uh, it's still easily accessible. And now, I guess with the cover, we probably won't be able to take the cover off with that up there, but, you know, cover will be off while we're moving on the boat anyways, so it's fine. Thanks for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Bye! So we're back tits out. The captain. The captain and the crew.